Welcome again, friends. This is uh, Bobby. I am filming in uh, Galveston, Texas, inside the uh, Bishop's Palace. It's not really a palace. It's just a beautiful, um, grandiose uh, house on four floors. And it also did not belong to the bishop, really. Uh, the bishop used to live in it later on, but it was built by uh, Walter Gresham for him, his wife, and their five children who lived in the house. So uh, what we have here is the main hallway. I just uh, walked through those uh, stained glass doors over there. It's December of uh, 2022, so we have a big Christmas tree here. Stained glass window, they're original from uh, 1892 when the house was completed. So turn of the century. Um, mahogany everywhere, hardwood floors in every single room. Right over here we have 54, 54 uh, foot ceiling all the way to the, to the top over there. I'm going to give you guys a little uh, tour. Over here to the right, the main uh, dining hall. So I guess they needed a large space for uh, both of them and uh, for the five kids who lived in the house. Now, in total, they had eight kids, but three of them never got to live in the house. They were already grown when the house was uh, finished. I wanna mention that uh, Walter Gresham made his money as a uh, military attorney. He was a colonel for uh, the US military, but also a, um, also, um, a colonel. And um, I guess that combination made him a lot of money to build this uh, house. He was originally from Virginia. Right over here, we have a little uh, sunroom. I think this is my favorite in the entire house. This is not open to the public, the sunroom. So unfortunately, I cannot go in there, but uh, I can film it from here, from this side. In the background, uh, we have the Catholic Church. And uh, this is important historically for this house because... Uh, the Archdiocese of the Catholic Church purchased the house from uh, Walter's kids right after both him and his wife died in uh, 1932. So, uh, uh, because of the proximity, I guess, uh, but also because of how beautiful the house is, uh, the kids were happy to sell it. I'm, I'm sure, I'm quite sure that Walter and his wife did not turn twist in their grave to have their house sold <laughs> immediately after they died, kids, those days. Anyway, here we have a uh, beautiful library, and this was also uh, Walter's uh, office. He wanted to have it here exposed uh, to the breezes from, uh, from the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, the Gulf of Mexico is uh, basically four, maybe five blocks away in that direction. So a uh, beautiful space. Now uh, this one over here is marble that they imported from Algeria. Beautiful piece. Chandeliers everywhere, as you can see. The ceiling was painted by uh, Walter's uh, wife, Josephine. So all the ceilings, wherever they're painted, they were painted by Josephine herself. Yeah some angels there painted by her stained glass windows many places anyway, um, i love these doors how they uh they can open and close covering that big uh big rotunda there so um leather bound books here as you can see so a recap what we've seen so far, the main hallway, the main entrance right over here, the library and uh, Walter's uh, business office over here. Over here we have uh, the dining room. We have uh, the sunroom here way in the back. We have the kitchen, which I have not shown you just yet. For the late 1800s, this was not bad for a kitchen. 
Right. This is a uh, back staircase, not the main one. I didn't show you guys the basement, but it's not as as magnificent. Uh, the basement has been turned into a uh, into a little uh, gift shop, so not that impressive. Uh, the main living room here, not a library, but a living room, and it's uh, L-shaped, so there's a lot of living room there and a lot of living room here, all in one space, basically, L-shaped. Nice piano there. More, uh, more marble. This one is from the United States, not from Algeria. That's me there in the back, in the, in the mirror. And uh, let's see. These are paintings of uh, family members, not of Walter and uh, what's her name? Not of Walter and Josephine themselves, but of their parents. I've been told. All right. Floor to ceiling, windows in the entire house. Beautiful walking spaces on the outside, as you can see, all around the house. Now this, uh, this ceiling here is not painted, but still quite beautiful. Those uh, geometric shapes. Little fireplace there. These windows are not quite floor to ceiling, but still quite tall. That's my car there, beat up 21 year old car. The white Ford sedan. Just to do a little contrast <laughs> with this beautiful building. Throw in a, an ugly car. All right, so as I said, stained glass window, let's go upstairs. Look at the woodwork. So here, just a little nook, I guess, halfway through the staircase. You could stop here and make announcements to the people downstairs. More stained glass window there. Now this one is not lit up. They did not let any light come through, unfortunately. And uh, this is the upper floor here. There's a tour going on there, so I'll go this way. This one here was uh, the governess room, bedroom, or basically the nanny's bedroom. The nanny used to live here. She had uh, the bathroom not attached to, the, to her bedroom, but close enough, close enough. Now there's a secret, uh, secret floor, I guess. Uh, very, very small, low ceilings, but it's not open to the public. Oops, we've been there before, All right? This one here is their main bathroom, Walter's and uh, Josephine's. So uh, back then, 1892, this was quite luxurious. Cloth with a bathtub, mosaic floors. All right, this here was their main bedroom. Beautiful windows again. Top the ceiling windows. And I guess just a, I don't know, double sized bed that cannot be queen. So, I don't know, I guess they were short and know, not, that, not that large in those days. Uh, this bed here was added later on, but uh, this was, uh, this had smaller beds. This was one of the kids' uh, rooms at one point, when the house was finished, actually. It was one of the kids' rooms. More balconies, more walking space outside, as you all can see. Even the kids had a uh, fireplace. I don't know if I mentioned this already, 
I've just learned that there were 11 fireplaces through the house. The kids didn't get a shower, they got a sink. That's it. In those days, that was good enough. I don't know where they would bathe, I guess, in the parents' shower. Uh, more hallway space here, slash living room space. This is another one of the kids' uh, bedrooms, but uh, the bishop of the Catholic Church made it into a chapel later on. So this was after 1932 when uh, the church bought the building. This was not originally a chapel. All right, so the bishop of the Catholic Church used to live in this bedroom here. Uh, originally, it was one of the other kids' uh, bedrooms. But the bishop, of course, in the Catholic Church, uh, you're not allowed to marry, so he only needed a small bed. Bishop Burns' bedroom. Uh, the views outside very simple ceiling because this was originally just for the for one of the kids and uh, yeah. his uh, bathroom over there there's some people there so I'm not gonna on top well maybe I can now uh, right very simple uh, bathroom for the bishop and before that for the kids. Their favorite saints. Yeah. So the rotunda. Um, and, uh, made from Francis, so, yep. As I said, mahogany. Mahogany wood everywhere. Look yes. how beautiful this is. Anyway, I think I'll wrap it up here. I think I showed you guys everything that is open to the public. Oh, one more thing here. So they had uh, a button before the age of uh, telephones to announce, uh, to announce what you needed, basically, to the servants and mailmen and stuff like that, people like that. Anyway. Yep, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Bishop's Palace in Galveston, in Texas. Beautiful house, beautiful surroundings, beautiful neighborhood, and a lot of uh, history. This is Bobby, checking out. I'll see you guys uh, next time.